honored to be joined by Theron Fleury. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time yeah, to no chat problem. a bit. Thanks for having me. Now you started junior hockey in, in the MJHL. Yeah. And, or yeah. just before in, Moose Jaw. Uh, in St. James, yeah. Yeah, the St. James, James Canadians, Canadians. right. Yeah. So, you know, junior hockey, obviously uh, the game of hockey has changed quite a bit, yeah. but in what ways, you know, from when you first kind of broke into junior hockey and worked your way up as, a, you know, a star mm. in the, the, <laughs> the junior leagues for sure and then on to a star in the NHL as well. Well, I probably um, played that year at five feet, 100 and, geez, I couldn't have been more than 120 pounds, you know. And I had a good year. And, uh, well, I was originally drafted by the Winnipeg Warriors, who are now the Moose Jaw Warriors. Right. And, uh, and so they brought me in uh, from my hometown when I was 15, and I played with St. James. And then uh, I would practice every day with the big team, the Winnipeg team. So they were getting me ready for the year I turned 16 so that I could be a part of the Western League. And... and uh, it, to be honest with you, I don't know how I survived that first year because, you know, I'm playing against guys that are 20, 21 years old. Mm -hmm. And I was 15, and I, you know, if, if somebody skated by me, their wind would have blown me over, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and then and then the team got sold that year, and I moved with the team to Moose Jaw. And, and uh, what an incredible hockey town that was. Mm -hmm. and amazing fans, amazing support. And, you know, it's not any different than here in Drumheller. It's a you know, a community sort of run team. And, yep. and uh, you know, it was pretty amazing uh, to, to play those four years in Moose Jaw and, you know, have the success that I did and played in a couple of World Juniors at that time. And, and yeah, so it was an amazing, amazing experience. Uh, you had to really fight and grind your way. So uh, how do you see that, you know, the adjustments and the changes that have made in the NHL? Would you have appreciated a few of those perhaps when you first came in? You know in? what? Everybody always asks me that question. And you know what? I love the era that I played in. I think the greatest collection of superstars played in our era. Absolutely. You know? And, uh, you know, it was amazing. I got a chance to play with Gretzky and Messier and Lemieux and Sackick and Eisenman and all those guys. And, Played against them and played with them, and uh, you know, uh, I, I was very, very satisfied with my career. And you know, I don't think I could have done much more, you know, than what I did. And you know, especially for a guy that was told he wasn't going to play one game in the National Hockey League because I was too small. <clears throat> you know, I was able to play a thousand games and and play in a lot of really great, amazing games that are part of history. So. You know, and then going to Calgary, be a part of that Calgary Edmonton rivalry was pretty amazing. Yeah, and you got a, a Stanley Cup ring out of it. You got a gold medal. Uh, you second all-time leading scorer of the Calgary Flames, and Mr. Flurry, it's been an absolute honor to sit and chat with you. So thank you for your I time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Again, that's the Breaking Free Foundation, BreakingFreeFoundation.ca. Check it out, support it as uh, we continue to you know, watch this good work unfold. Uh, awesome. Again, thank you so much. Thanks, man. That's Theron Flurry here for Victor Knight. As the Drummiller Dragons back in action. And we could have talked a whole lot longer. What an absolute honor. Again, I'm a Calgary boy. So that was pretty cool.